We have Apple iPad 2 and an Amazon Kindle Fire that's been rooted and loaded with Android 4 ice cream sandwich. So, you know, on the surface, these two tablets are probably a little bit more difficult to compare um, than, say, a Galaxy Tab and an iPad or a, an Acer uh, or an Asus Transformer. You know, they're not really meant for the same market um, when you go and buy them. You know, the iPad has been the king of tablets for a long time, um, probably since it came out because it sort of changed um, changed computing, you know, in a way that people didn't know, know what they wanted until they saw it. And so everybody's been trying to catch up with the iPad since then. And, um, you know, the great thing about the Kindle is that it's new and that it's different. And so, you know, size-wise, these two things are, are very different. Price-wise, they're very different. Um, they're marketed a little bit differently. Amazon is more for reading, uh, you know, and the Apple is more for general purpose type stuff. But the cool thing about this video is that we're going to look just a little bit about how when you have a rooted Amazon Kindle Fire and, and have it loaded with Android 4, you can do some pretty cool stuff with it. And it makes it a lot more um, competitive with the iPad because doing things like loading different pieces of different software, different applications, um, allows you to, to use it you know, in more of a tablet fashion. Um, so let's see, so if I go ahead and launch Maps on here, we're gonna say okay, and we're gonna launch Maps on here, and see what we have, and just look at the two, if I can find Maps. Let's just go ahead and search for Maps, since I can't seem to find it. So, you know, these two guys both um, both are running Google Maps. Um, we're going to do, you know, the panning and zooming, definitely smooth on the iPad. Um, not terrible on the Kindle Fire. Um, you know, this, uh, this definitely puts us in the right spot here, so it has an idea of where we are up in Anchorage, Alaska. If I go here, we're going to look at the iPad, same thing. Um, knows right where we are. One of the cool things I like about Android is that you have sort of context-aware um, mapping. And so if I click on this Alaska bow hunting supply, I actually get some information. Whereas if I do the same thing on the iPad, let's see if I can do that. There we go. It doesn't do anything. So it's sort of, that's a bit frustrating for me. Um, but we're going to go home and we're going to go home. And we're just going to scroll a bit and look at the fluidness of this home screen is not too bad um, on both of these guys. And let's see here if we go to the app drawer. A little bit of a lag there on the Kindle. Um, not 100% smooth, but still not terrible. You can see I have access to Gmail. Um, if I launch my mail program on the iPad, go to my inbox. Let's see. And if I scroll in here and scroll in here, Click on that, click on that, click on that. So you can see that, um, you know, the iPad is definitely more uh, tablet. <laughs> the Kindle Fire is good. There's, you know, there's a little bit of lag with certain things, you know, and it reminds me of older generations of Android where you have, um, you know, you push the screen and nothing happens and, um, you know, the iPad's very quick. It's very nice. Stuff loads really fast. Um, there's very little delay in anything. You know, if I go here now and go to that same link, um, it'll take me to... There we go. Got Chrome beta, but it doesn't really work, so I'm gonna go to browser. You can see the different load speeds here. Not t I mean, that's not that bad. It's slow, but, you know, it's usable. I mean, if you buy this device for 200 bucks or 250 bucks or whatever it is, you're getting probably 80%, 90% of what the iPad can do at uh, almost less than half the cost. And so I think the mark, like I said at the beginning, the market is different, but if you want to go through the trouble of rooting your Kindle and installing CM9, I think it's worth it. I think it turns it into a much more full-featured tablet, um, but I don't think you will have the same experience that you have with an iPad. I think you will enjoy using the iPad more um, but for this price and for what it can do and how big it is, um, it's, it's sort of a cool little thing and it's pretty powerful. So I would say if you want to spend the time and want to play around, go ahead and try it out. It's a lot of fun.